talk about one more thing with reaction rates, uh, instantaneous rate. So this is basically is a change in concentration at one particular time. All right, so this is at bam at that point in time. We're trying to see what is that rate at that point in time. All right, so basically you could think of this as the slope at one point of curve. Okay, now as I mentioned before, coefficients play a role in your rate equation. All right, because right the coefficients are those moles will impact your rate equations, which, just to remind everybody, your rate equation is always like this, right? Negative 1 over A, so in this case, your coefficient, and then you always have the change in concentration over change in time, right? That's what the rate is, okay? But depending on your coefficient, that can impact your rate, all right? So, Joe, so everybody, just, just remember that, right? And then once again, we can see here, right, uh, remember, your reactants have this negative and your products have this positive, right? As I mentioned before, products, it's always going to be a positive rate. Um, negative, um, you can have, of course, you're, we're always going to have a negative rate because we're being consumed for reactants. But because we want to deal with positive numbers, this is the reason why we have this negative multiplied here, all right? Now, okay, so let's look at our question. Using H2, this one right here, what is the instantaneous rate at 50 seconds, all right? So if we're trying to find a rate at 50 seconds, we're still going to do the same thing, everybody. We're, so we're still doing the change in concentration over change in time. And in this case, we need to really focus on our points, right? So if I want the 50 second point, all right, we got to think of this as like the median, right? So notice it's kind of lined up already for us. Um, 70 seconds, all right? And then I went right to this point here. You could have went here and here, uh, but, you know, it's, it's going to give us the same, basically, okay? Um, but I just went here, all right? So I'm at the 30-second point. So at 70 seconds minus 30 seconds, that's going to give me my 40 seconds, right? And then because this is our 40 seconds, right, this is actually, think of it as a median. That's a, that's the way I could put it simple, right? It's a median. So this is our, this is going to line up to be at the 50 second mark, all right? Now, because we have to do the change in temperature, that's going to give us 40 seconds, okay? Now, what are we going to have to do in regards to our concentration? Well, we're just going to see the change in concentration. So we're going to look at this point, bam, and then we're going to look at this point, bam. And then we're going to see the change here. And if we look at that point, right, basically we saw a change in concentration of negative 0.28 molar, and then our 40 seconds, right, which we saw here, that's going to give me my rate of 0 0.0070, molar over seconds. All right, so this is what we see here. And then basically we're going to do the same thing for products, right? So with my products, you see HI over here. Same concept with the 50 seconds, all right? So in this case, we got our change, and then we got our time. So notice where I'm starting at, 72nd mark, 32nd mark, just like the previous example, because it's all at 50 seconds, all right? So, right, the slope at that one point, right, is that going to be at 50 here. Now, uh, the change in concentration, we're just going to take that point minus this point here. In this case, that's going to give me 0.56 molar, okay? You guys might get something a little bit different depending on where you estimate that is. I got 0.56 um, in this case, 0.5 or 0.6 if you want to just round it out, okay? Very similar, though. Now, when I go to plug this into my rate equation, what are we going to notice about HI, though? All right, I still got my concentration, 0.56 over 40 seconds, bam, right? But where does one half come from? The one half comes from this equation here, right? It's a product. Remember, coefficient is key. In this case, the chemical reaction says that there's two moles for HI, so we got to do one over two, all right? And when this happens, we're going to see that it's 0.0070, okay?
uh, molar over seconds.